basically in regards to, you know, figures such as Hoppe and Mises who exist within the Austrian school, um, I mean, how would you descri- how would you describe, you know, Kant's influence specifically over Austrian economics? Uh, do you think that, you know, despite the flaws that you, you might see in Kant's ideas, you think that it's at least necessary for the influence it's had over these Austrian thinkers who might potentially not have come to these same conclusions without, you know, Kant's ideas, regardless of what, how accurate the Kant's ideas themselves actually were? I would say, um, insofar as there is any influence Kant has had over these Austrians, it's been a poor influence. It's degraded their thought. Um, so like for their, for instance, you said about uh, freedom, which I took to mean, you know, free will or whatever, uh, you have to have that for praxeology, right? You have to have choice for praxeology. I completely agree with that. But on Kant's view, do you have free will? Certainly not in the, you know, it doesn't, it's not one of his categories. Freedom isn't one of his categories. You automatically integrate this knowledge in some certain way. It's automatically done no, by no, your brain. No, no, I would like, d- you, definitely He disagree. might have he free the, will in the, the noumenal who... world. Right? No, no, no. In he the pr- world, that's particularly expl- expresses like he's a he's a, he particularly expresses the claim, uh, like he formulated this quote: "Ought implies can," and he definitely claims to have ought. So there needs to be can. He claims can't, all like, sorts of stuff. I, I mean, you might disagree with the conclusion, like I said, but it's clear what he believes is not. What you're saying, and he believes well, 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 at the very. Like, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying he. I'm not saying he believes in determinism, right? I'm not saying mm-hmm. that. I'm saying on his view, where you have a completely unknowable noumenal world, and your categories of uh, you know uh, understanding, and your other one, you know, uh, perception. I can't remember the name he had for perception, but you know these these filters you have, these lenses you have for understanding the noumenal. Uh, you can't control these lenses. You can't control their operation, or else you have like complete, or else on that view, it would be uh, I might come to the conclusion that you know contradictions are true. Can't might come to a different conclusion, and we could never agree on anything, right? He thinks these things are the the they have an innate form without an innate content, yeah. right? But if you, if sure. you can't choose the form of these things, where is the free will for Kant? Is that in the noumenal? Well, world, it's so simple. In the phenomenal. It's- world? It's so simple. You wouldn't say um, just because you have certain uh, innate sort like you, you don't pick the reality you exist in. That's basically what you're saying. But that doesn't in any way, shape or form negate uh, the possibility for freedom. Like we basically but where is the free will uh, sense? Well, you could have like I would ask, where is the free will in a difference in any po- form of uh, philosophical understanding? Like you would, you would have, if you don't, they basically, what we would say is, um, for the phenomenal world, what is the, uh, what is the truth maker probably would be something like, um, what was the, mm, what you can't will away. So you, you uh, the existence of the cons, uh, like we, we don't pick the world that we exist. We don't pick the, like, if there's a shoe, like there's a rock in our shoe, this is CSP, I think. Poor Parse's uh, uh, take take away from Kant. He's like an American pragmatist. Whatever. Um, generally, like I cannot wheel the rock in my shoe away. I cannot remove the sh- uh, the rock in my shoe with merely wheeling it away. But there is still clearly a will for me to like. There's still a capacity for me to have a free will to think about the existence that which I do. Uh, that I'm part of, right? I'm inside of a particular like phenomena. I'm I'm experiencing things. Um, the the prior to the existence, like the prior to the experience, you do have certain wills, certain understandings, certain like uh, it's an a priori condition. Also, of like freedom, free will is also an a priori condition in that sense. So, um, um, in that understanding, I don't think like it's in any way controversial in separating noumena, phenomena, whatever, like to have a free will, because in any understanding of philosophy, unless you're some very esoteric thinker, you're going to have a unchanging part of reality in your worldview, right? Uh, And that does not negate free will. If you do believe that, do explain to me how you would arrive at free will. But, um... Well, um, yeah. so like, on Kant's view, right, you're trying to get to necessity, Right, you're trying to get to what is necessarily the case, because and Hume has been 
attacking this thing where you can't get to necessity. So that's whole. That's Kant's entire like philosophical project here. Um, mm-hmm. But if he if he isn't driving like free will, if free will is not one of his categories and it isn't derived from one or multiple of his categories, then like I I don't see where on earth it could be on his view. Like I can tell you what I sort of elucidate what I mean by that. Um, so like on the objectivist view, the place where mm-hmm. free will is, it's in the operation of your reason. So your your reason, you could either relax your reason, you can drift and you can just have sense data flowing over you without integrating it at all. Or you can actively disintegrate that sense data, like you can actively uh, make false conclusions upon sense data. You can you know, put them in the wrong places within your mind and stuff like that. Or you can think, so you can actively integrate the sense data. That's where your free will lies on the objective's view. Like on the Kantian view, I can't see, I can't, you know, see where it lies. You know, I can ah, see so maybe it's in the, the maybe it's in the new world. Let, let the so how long has it been since we started the Kant fund? This has to be <laughs> like a new <Yeah>. record. <laughs> I, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> well, like, uh, you right. know, like if 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 it is within the noumenal world that you have free will, um, then it's completely unknowable and unethical. And then it couldn't be that praxeology, praxeologic understanding of free will is influenced in Kant because on Kant's view, then it would be completely unknowable that you have free will or not, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, I understand. Um, so, because it's necessary for you to exist in the reality that you exist, um, you think it's like you don't you don't have a way to disassociate. I, I I get it. I don't see it as correct. Then what you, what you're describing as objectivist understanding, I don't think that is correct. I don't think you can even pick which parts of reality you perceive or which parts of it that you like process. I think processing is almost like an unconscious part, but you do decide, um, like I would say free will is just as like a sense data necessary precondition. Um, it would be like, a pr- it would be an a priori on, onto itself. It would be a processing mechanism onto itself, the free will, but it wouldn't be the processing mechanism that you have control over. It's just like a part of your processing mechanism that has, uh, something like that. Um, like a free will to this, this, uh, decide where uh, certain things lie in. Um, that's the way I would like, describe it. But did, did Kant not have like like you know a very specific like he had like fourteen categories or whatever? Like I don't remember free will being one. Like me, oh, I don't remember. Maybe you might be right. I don't actually remember. Uh, you might be right. Uh, if I if it is the case, I, if I if I'm mistaken, then uh, uh, I can't remember. I'm sorry, uh, but generally speaking, the way I see it, the remember. way I would. Oh fuck off! <laughs> uh, these are so lazy, dude. <laughs> uh, 